I promised a video on my experience selling books at the Christmas market. Was it worth it? What's my return on investment? Did I sell a ton of books? Let's answer those questions properly. But first, hi guys, my name is Astal van der Velt. I'm an indie author of the travel memoir, The Londoners, which you can see right here. And I post weekly videos on writing and self-publishing. So click that subscribe button if you'd like to stick around. Let's be honest, preparing the Christmas market was a bit stressful. I live in the French part of Belgium, so French was kind of mandatory. Um, if I wanted to sell anything locally. And even if I was already translating the book in French, this time I had a deadline, December 3rd. I needed to get the translation and the publishing done as fast as possible to order paperback copies and have something to sell. And let me tell you that selling books at a Christmas market for the first time was an incredible experience. I was on the other side of the table at last, watching people coming and going, uh, browsing the different stands, and I didn't want to be that pushy author who tries selling her books to someone who doesn't really want to buy. Instead, I let people check their back cover, invite them to get some sweets, and have a nice chat about London. I think it was the best approach, even if it wasn't the right audience. Um, there were lots of elderly looking for Christmas decorations or young parents coming for a picture of their kids with Santa. But because we do like some good numbers, let's have a look into it. The Christmas market was organized by a friend of mine and the fee to participate was 15 euros. With those 15 euros, I had a whole table just for myself. Add to it that I bought some sweets for the event at 1 euros 35 cents. It makes a grand total of 16 euros 35 cents. With that cost in mind, I calculated that I needed to sell at least three books to get my money back and make a tiny profit. <laughs> On the day though, my friend and I realized there weren't enough table for everyone, so we decided to share that table together and she refunded a half of my participation fee. So in the end, the real cost of the event was 8 euros 85 cents and I only needed to sell two books for the same result. Did I succeed? Well, Yes and no. Yes, because I did sell two books during the Christmas market, so my objective was complete. And no, because one book was sold to my friend who shared that table with me and the other to one of my cousins who had already promised me to buy my book once it would be released in French. So... No books were sold to total strangers this time around. <laughs> That's why, yes, but no. In terms of numbers, I made a tiny profit of 6 euros and 9 cents, which makes a 68.81% return on investment or ROI. But was it really? I guess it depends on my own definition of success. I had a good time at the Christmas market. My friend and I talked a lot, we had a lot of sweets, and I, I indeed sold two books, but it wasn't unexpected. They would have been ordered even if I wasn't doing the event. So hands in hands, um, it was a success, but not really a success, if you know what I mean. I'm not regretting to do the Christmas market because it was a good experience overall and I was on the front lines selling my babies for the first time ever to a local audience. But my take on that is to choose carefully which events you'll be doing with your books because Christmas markets aren't really the place to sell books because people are looking for Christmassy food and atmospheres, they're looking for decorations and cute crafty last minute gifts. So I guess the next event that I will be doing uh, will certainly be a more book related event where people go to buy books specifically. 
So let me know in the comments if you've already participated in one of those events or if you're planning to. Also, like and subscribe if you like this content and I will see you next week for another video. Bye!